Can we set the default value for our date slicer to today? In this video, I'm going to show you how. If you're new to this channel and you want to improve your Power BI skills, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. So what I want to achieve is to create a slicer that always opens up on the date of today when I open up the report. Now, let me show you what I mean on a simple table. Now here on our report page, we have a list of invoices with the invoice amount. Now I would like to add a slicer to it. And on the slicer, we're gonna have the R date field from a custom date table. Okay, so let's drag it onto our slicer and I'm gonna change it into a list so that we have a list of all of the dates. Now let's sort this then in descending order. Now that we have a slicer, one way to filter on today's date is to go down the list and look for today's date. Now today we have the 10th of September. Now there it is, then select it. And you see now we only have the invoices for today. However, it would be nice if this is the default when I open up my report, okay? Now you might think, well, maybe we can just put a filter on a slicer for today. Okay, now let's see if this is possible. So I'm gonna select the slicer visual, then go to the filter section. And here I would like to have a filter on date. And I'm gonna change basic filtering into relative date filtering. And here I can say is in this day and then apply the filter. And let's see what happens to our slicer. Well, it shows today's date. Um, however, I cannot switch to the other dates anymore. And this is not exactly what I was looking for. So let's look for a workaround. Okay, so I'm gonna undo this. Now to build a workaround to have the slicer always filter on the today's value when you open the report, we have to go to our date table. Now here I built a custom date table using the calendar auto function. And I just added the year, the quarters, the months and the days. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is add another column to our table. Okay, so I can go here and add a new line. And this one is gonna be my slicer date. Now let's put the next part on a new line. Now here we're gonna check if the date equals today. Now this we can do with a function. Okay, so we wanna check if the date equals today. So for this, we have a today function. And if so, then we are gonna return the text today. Now, what if it's not? Well, then we want to check for another condition. So I'm gonna have a nested if. And now we want to check if the date is lower than today. And if it is, then we want to return the date, okay? So let's close the first if function, and then let's also close the other one. Let's see if this works. And you see it gives me an error. Let's see what's going on. So the DEX expression for the calculated table dim date results in a variant data type for column slicer date. Now, what's going on is the following. Here, we want to return text today, and then we want to return date. So, date data type and text data type. We have to choose, we have to be consistent. So what we can do is just do the following. I go back here to date and then do ampersand and then quotation mark, quotation mark. So I add text to it. So then it thinks, okay, that's gonna be text. So then we have text here, text there. And you see, now we resolve that error. Now, why are we doing this? Because now we have one column, slice a date, that returns nothing when we have a date that's after today. But if I scroll down, you see for today's date, it returns the text today. And then for all of the dates before that, it returns the date. So what can we do now? Well, we can use the slicer date for a slicer. Okay, so let's go back to a report. Here we have a slicer, I'm gonna take away the date field from it and I'm gonna replace it 
with our slicer date. So let's drag it onto the field. Now over here, there's still the filter from before. So let's get rid of that filter. And here you see we have a blank and we don't want to show blank. Okay, so let's then go back to the filter section and then let's now say over here that we want to have an advanced filter and it should not contain blanks. Let's apply it. All right, so now we want to reverse the order so that we have it in descending order. And you see that today is now at the top. However, the sorting of all of the other dates yeah, doesn't make sense yet, okay? So we can select today. However, then if today is the 10th of September, then I want to show right below it the 9th of September, okay? So hmm, still not perfect yet. Now what we have to fix is how it sorts the slicer date column, okay? So, and this we can do with sort by. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to our date table and I'm gonna select the slicer date column, click here and sort by column, and I want to sort it by the date. And again, we have an error. So what's going on here? So sort by another column. We cannot sort the slicer date column by date. There cannot be more than one value in date for the same value in slicer date. Please choose a different column for sorting or update the data and date. Hmm. So what the problem is, is that we have a lot of blanks in the slicer date column, okay? And we have multiple values for those blanks in the date column. So it doesn't let us do this. So how can we work around this? What we can do is the following. I go back to the formula that creates my custom date table. So over here we have calendar auto. And for the moment, I'm just gonna replace this with a calendar function. So we have data that starts at the beginning of 2019. So I'm gonna use a date function. So 2019, month one, day one. Let's close the date function. Then we're gonna have another date function for the ending. So that's gonna be year 2020, month, uh, today it's uh, September, and then day 10, because today we have the 10th of September. I have to make sure here that I don't exceed uh, the today's date, and then we don't have any blanks. Now, then I go back to sort by, and I sort by the date. So you see, it lets us change the sort by column because we do not have any blanks anymore. However, it is important that your date table goes until the end of the year. So I have to change it back, okay? So I go here back to my formula and I'm gonna put in calendar auto again, just like it was before. And we have our blanks again. So did we lose the sort by column? Let's have a look. Well, you see, it still is sorting by date. So why this works is a little bit mysterious. However, it gets the job done. So let's have a look at our report. And you see that we have now the today value at the top and then in descending order, all of the other dates, okay? So now when we save a report with today selected and we open it up tomorrow, then we will have the 10th of September showing its date. And of course the 11th of September will then be today. If you know other ways of how to achieve this, then share it with us in the comment section below. And if you want to improve your Power BI skills, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you in the next video.